Greetings everyone, and for today I'm testing Monster Hunter Wilds benchmark tool. So for the first part I'm going with 4K Ultra settings with ray tracing. The only real difference I made for this preset is that I enabled Nvidia Reflex and added ray tracing manually because Ultra preset doesn't. But the ray tracing is only the reflections, so there is really not a big difference I measured with and without. And the difference basically at the end of the benchmark result was about by 6%, so not real difference for the most part. That's why for this video I only tested with RT. Also at the end of each test I'll show the score without recording so you'll see what's the difference with and without but I used my RTSS overlay in the meantime on both tests so keep that in mind but it shouldn't really affect the performance in at least significant way the first impressions is that it looks pretty good actually except the sharpness of the image that's the issue and I'm using DLSS at quality and even then the sharpness, the clarity of the image is actually pretty bad and I'm not entirely sure if it's fixable but the image as I mentioned is very blurry so that's very unfortunate and that's even at 4k so I can't really imagine what's like in 1440p or god save us all at 1080p the performance of my 3090 in this one is for the most part I think fine but I see that it utilizes a lot of VRAM and basically I'm averaging at about 15 gigabytes of usage and the total allocation is nearing almost at 20 gigabytes which is honestly insane. The main system memory, or also known as RAM, is at about 10 GB, so it's on the higher side, but it's nothing really out of the ordinary, I would say, for 2025 game, or benchmark tool, but it's still based on real games, so. So there's a little bit of benchmark left, I think I'll leave you on that, and I'll get back on the next segment of this video which is going to be a CPU testing.
them. Please go eat. ahead. Help yourselves. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 Now the second part of this video is going to be the test on my 5950X. At least as much as I can because for the most part, for the vast majority of this benchmark, I'm still going to be a GPU limited. The main differences that I made was the resolution at 720p, which is lowest allowed, and also I changed the LSS to ultra performance mode. And the rest is unchanged, as shown before in the first segment of this video. Now, as I mentioned before, unfortunately my 3090 is not capable of fully driving this CPU. And for the most part I'm still GPU limited, even at 720p with ultra performance DLSS. And I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. I guess it's good because it's easier to scale, easier to achieve that by upgrading the GPU. But it can be still very CPU demanding at the last segment of this benchmark. And you'll see later why. So I guess in some kind of hubs or populated areas, it can be very CPU demanding. But my 5950X deals with it quite nicely achieving at about 70 fps on average without big stutters and the performance should be for the most part fine still and yeah i think that's about it for my commentary i'm going to leave you with a video thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye for now
Welcome. Please Go eat. ahead. Help yourselves. Yes, yes. Huh. <laughs> 